12 Principles of House Drainage House sewers or drains should be laid as far as possible at the side of the building rather than below the building. The size of the drain should be sufficient so that they can avoid flooding the drains during maximum discharge. The drain should be laid at a sufficient gradient in order to establish self-cleansing velocity in them. The self-cleansing velocity helps to keep the sewer clean. As far as possible, drains should be laid in straight lines between successive inspection chambers. As far as possible, sharp bends and junctions should be avoided except through chambers or manholes. Drains should be constructed on a good foundation and protected against an external load. Drains should be non-absorbent type. The drain should be laid at such a level that the lowest level of the building may drain into it. All sewer joints should be made watertight and checked correctly before the drainage line is put into service. The house drain should avoid a direct connection to the public sewers. The house drain should be connected to the public sewer if the level of the house drain is higher than the level of the public sewer. Enough number of traps should be provided. Proper ventilation should be provided to the entire drainage system.